Hi, configuring replication to deliver a change stream to an HDFS file system through WebHDFS is pretty straightforward, I think. It's a new feature for us in the CDC technology. We've been able to deliver changes to a locally mounted HDFS file system where our CDC engine was running on an edge node of the cluster, but now we can get to it through WebHDFS. So I'll just create a new subscription, test one. My target is the data CDC for data stage engine. It's increasingly poorly named as it's the engine we use to deliver changes to data stage, but also to HDFS and to cloud. All this looks like the same as for any other sort of subscription, and you can see some of my other videos for details on that. So I want to deliver changes to Hadoop. I want to use HD web HDFS. That's really our recommended choice. Pick a table. and a directory. So this is a subdirectory for this subscription. I'll, in fact, give it the subscription name for the heck of it. There would be a subdirectory created for each of the tables in the subscription as well to keep the files isolated for each table. Let the wizard finish. One last thing to do, Hadoop properties. If I'm using simple authentication, which is just username and password, I put in a URL. This is a Bluemix URL, in fact my name, my username for, that I got from Bluemix, and my password, and I'd be done. I could be using Kerberos authentication instead, or Kerberos, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I pronounce it Kerberos, I just don't know if I'm right. Again, you put in a URL, and then you specify principal and key tab path. If you know Kerberos, you'll know what those mean, otherwise you probably don't care. I'm a simple guy, so I say that, so I'll, I'll probably use simple authentication. And I'm done. I could start the subscription and I'd be delivering a stream of changes into my WebHDFS file system. That's it. Thanks for listening.